Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Faith and Hustle. Welcome to my channel. Um, you guys, if you did not know, I'm starting a new series called Make It Make Sense. You see the shirt that say Real Hustle, no days off. That's a fact. However, we got to start budgeting. I need to know where my money is residing. I need to know where it went. I need to make sure every dollar that comes into my hands is intentional. And so I've decided to start this series because budgeting is a part of having faith and hustle. You feel me? So before I get started on doing my sinking funds and everything else, I too wanted a cash tray, but I don't want to have to wait two months for it to come. And I don't, I don't want to spend all this extra money on it. So you guys, that brings us to why we're here today, which is making our own cash tray. Super simple. I got two of these. The other one is somewhere. I got to find it. But you get them from the Dollar Tree. This is a palette from the craft section and a small box. Now, I did, hold on. I did open up a bill. I wish I had a bill. show y'all. Let me show you how serious we are getting into the money. Do I not look like this girl in this photo? First of all. Hello? Hello? Who this? Money? Yeah, come on over. <laughs> Plenty of room for you. <laughs> anyway, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. So the point is showing you guys this is my box that's going to help me for future videos. We're going to get organized together. Don't worry about it, you guys. I'm going to break it all down. Break it down, break it down, break it down. We're going to break it down. But look, 20 fits in here. No problem. So in order to have a six slot holder, you need five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, you guys, off camera is just take this palette and cut in between these pieces and I'm going to keep this back piece I'm not going to take it apart on anything so I'm gonna do that off camera and then we're gonna get to get back to it and create our Dollar Tree cash tray that's gonna save the day okay y'all I lied I ended up not using this which I'll explain why in the next clip I just wanted to show you that I actually did in fact end up cutting up the little palette, trying to file it down to make it even, and came up with a better resolution, which you can still get this other product from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so you guys, I did all of that for nothing. It was fun cutting, sanding, but these little pieces right here, the little notches, actually take up more space than I thought. And I realized I have a few popsicle sticks. I have a few popsicle sticks that I use for waxing and <laughs> when I put three of them together, they are the same, see that? They're the same width. So instead of using these, which I'll figure out something, I decided to glue together a whole, a whole bunch of uh, popsicle sticks just so I can create that one's loose. I need to add a little bit more glue in there. That's all right. But now you see what we're doing instead. Sometimes when you craft, you have to make adjustments along the way. There's no problem with that. Not a problem. I ran out of small ones. All right, so we're gonna glue up three more and then these are gonna be the slots for the cash tray.
So we're gonna let them dry. And then we'll be back to line them up in the box. Let's go ahead and speed this up. You're gonna grab your first slot and put it directly in the center. Since this tray comes with a handle or a hole on the side, I use that to align it to the middle. And I purposely poured a little bit of excess glue so that I was able to scrape it up upwards so that there would be no slots. And then from that half, I divided them in halves to put the outer slots on there. And once this dries, then I'll put the last two remaining in there. Um, I am working from home and it's been a blessing to be able to work, but it's hard for me to sit down at the same time, y'all. So being able to craft and do stuff like this really helps me. And this job is only temporary because I, like I said, I really want to get out of debt. Um, and I'm really excited that this cash tray is going to be something that I put into use, but you see how I'm swiping up, trying to get the glue. That's just so that there's no air spots in there. All right. I'll show you what it looks like after I put in all five of them. I'm go ahead and show you what the cash box looks like. This is it. You see the glue on there, which is okay. However, if you think that your girl is just going to put her hard-earned money into this without manifesting and without jazzing it up a little bit, you must not have been a subscriber long. This is what I've got. I'm going to use a white base with some purple and maybe some gold. Um, but yeah, and then I'm going to put a word right here and then something right here. So I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But if you like how this came out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're ready to join this budgeting journey, cash journey, so we can all make it make sense. Remember, I'm starting this new series. And um, all right, y'all, so here's the final product. This ring light's not giving it any justice. I am in love with it. It's white based with the purple, like I mentioned. Um, and I manifested while I painted this box. That was a little private for me, but I can give you some ideas on what you can pray for and manifest for when you are making your box. I thought about all of the things that were going to bring me joy. I talked about money affirmations, how money flows to me freely. I am a money magnet. I deserve to live a better life. I, I, I thought about all of the different incomes that were going to bless me and the people and the categories and my seeking funds. I thought about my debt journey. I manifested just so many fun things that it really became to be such a peaceful thing. So here it is. And I went ahead and I personalized it. I personalized it. So as I mentioned, you guys, I put one word. I wanted one word to go right here. And if you can guess what that word is, like you're a mind reader. But I chose a galaxy type of vinyl simply because one, I had it. And two, this word, I mean, galaxy. <clears throat> I chose the word limitless. I chose the word limitless. And um, to me, sky is the limit to infinity and beyond type shit. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and uh, just arrange these letters where they need to be. Limitless. Your faith and hustle should be limitless. The things that you're manifesting. Oh, look at the E is limitless. The abundance in your life that you deserve and the things that you can create just from your mind alone, y'all, it's limitless. Everything is limitless. I don't know why this E wants to be funky. Ha, funk E. 
Yeah, we got a funky E right now. Gonna be limitless, y'all. I gotta face it this way so I can make sure it's centered. Y'all know I'm a perfectionist. And this funky E has already kind of got me. It says limitless, not perfection. <laughs> so. That's it. Here you have a look at my new cash box. I absolutely love how this turned out, you guys. It's personalized, it's got my favorite colors, it's pretty sturdy, and it holds quite a few bills. I hope you guys join me on the Make It Make Sense series. And remember, if you vibed, don't forget to subscribe. I love y'all. Thank you for watching.